Hey guys, check it out. We got the Mandarin Massinger Zero here. And this Massinger Zero is from Jim Massinger Zero versus the Great General of Darkness. As you guys can see here, this is gonna be a model kit, of course, for around 50 US dollars. And here you can see a list of countries that is available to be shipped to. So, a few. Now, it's going to be standing at 155 millimeters tall, which it would check that out. That is 5.9 inches tall. Uh, so not that tall. And the Infinite Dozen 1 is actually a lot taller than that one. And it should be out by September 2024. So you can pre-order him right now. It's quite a few websites that still already got it up. But let's take a closer look at this guy. I gotta say, I like how they did the scrander here on the back. I like how they actually made it look like there's circuitry around this area and over here, which is great. I like that. And he does look thick. You know, he has the big, thick thighs with the legs, the really thick feet. The arms as well. And it looks like he's gonna have some good articulation. The only thing is the heat sink. I wish they would have made the heat sink it out translucent plastic so it really looks a lot better when the light hits it. Of course, you got those giant iron cutters as well, which look great. And remember the one you're seeing here, I'm pretty sure it's pretty much painted. You can see that big brain looking um, powder there which actually looks pretty nice you can see it with the mouth open and you can see here that it's a little bit translucent but really it doesn't the heat sink doesn't really show much I the infinite some one just shows you so much more so yeah it it's looking good, but man, I wouldn't, you know, you can have him surfing on the freaking scrander, but I wouldn't change my infinitism one for this one, honestly. I don't think I would. You can see the scrander from the back. Looking nice. And I'm pretty sure it works just the same way it does on the infinitism, where it's just a ball joint here and attached here and you just rotate them around and everything. Yeah. Just the socket and here's where you attach the stand. Oh, no more pictures. Okay. Well, it's interesting. It's, it's interesting that now we have two Massinger Zeros, but... Uh, since I already have, you know, my Infinitism 1 and I don't feel like um, I need to upgrade it or get another version of it, I think I'll pass on this one. If you don't have the Infinitism 1, then well, I say go for this one. Monderoid did a great job. I mean, they did an awesome job with freaking Big O. Um, I don't know, maybe the size is something that might put you off. Like I said before, um, 5.9 inches is a little bit too short for me. I, I like the size that I have on mine, which is pretty close to that 7.5 inch of master grade. That is just, you know, it, it, it scales very nicely, you know, with the rest of your Gundams and the rest of the infinitesimals if you're collecting them heck even next to be go looks pretty nice so yeah that, that's for this video just wanted to show you guys um uh, you this massinger zero which i think is great if you don't have one already then i say pick it up you know obviously you the one you might really want would be a so chungoki one 
a CCS toy one, a metal bill one, something like that. If you really want to go really crazy, maybe Blissway will make one at some points for carbotics. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, that pretty much does it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.